usually I pack it and dad just goes and gets it. He's kind of the runner. So it makes things easy when everything is up here and we're just constantly moving. I like jobs that I don't have to think very much. <laughs> Everybody. We're up here at site three, my site. It's around three in the morning and we're gonna be loading 25 pigs out of here for farmer grade. All these pigs today are gonna be going to Lamoni, Iowa to be processed into some pork products that we can list on farmergrade.com. We're doing some creative stuff with like pork porterhouses, double cut pork chops. We're gonna have boneless chops, bone in chops pork briskets, jowl bacon, cottage bacon, regular bacon, pork butts, spare ribs, baby back ribs, and we're doing some cool, unique sausage links, smoked sausage links, and some other stuff as well. But really excited with how things are progressing, really excited with the selection of cuts that we offer. Pretty damn good looking pigs. Uh, we hand selected the best 25 pigs we could find, the biggest. Got a lot in this pen, got a fair amount in this pen where most of the pigs are on this side here. We took first cuts out over here uh, a couple days ago. We're thinning out the barn slowly but surely, but this side hasn't been touched yet. So without further ado, let's get started. El Conquistador, how do we feel? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Eager to get the bacon on the road so I can go back to counting sheep. I don't think I'm gonna stay up unless you're making me breakfast this morning. I don't know if I got anything, so I think we'll be both counting sheep, maybe. This might be a one and done deal tonight, this morning, whatever time it is. All right, let's go, let's go. Gotta get on the road. Whatever works for you. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Come on. Let's go, Debbie. some good bacon. Huh? Well, those were some great looking pigs. Now we're gonna head to the scale in town and get a weight on them so we know how much the average weight is. And then they're off to Lamoni. We'll see you at the scale. So what do you think they're gonna weigh? I think they're gonna, gonna weigh uh, 305. 305? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be as big as those. Yeah, numbers. they're not, def they're definitely not high 310 or something like that. I would say I'll go 308. We'll stay around that sub 310. But that's our guess. We'll see if we're right in a minute. 26,380 pounds is what we got for total weight. Loaded. And Merv's gonna give us the unloaded ticket so we can see what they weighed when the trailer was empty and what it didn't, what it weighed when it was loaded. Go make some good bacon, piggies. All right, we're gonna head home now. Might get some shut eye before we gotta pack orders this morning. Got about 
30 to 35 orders to pack, so. All right, what do we got? You ready? Yep, so 26,000 is the loaded trailer weight. Minus 18,720. The 7,660 pounds of pigs divided by 25. 306. It's good weight. That's a good weight. Worked out perfect. Yep. All right, we're gonna go head home, maybe eat some breakfast. Don't shut that off yet. <laughs> Get some shut eye and then pack orders later on this, this morning. So, you ready to seize the day? I feel like we already seized it. Now we gotta go take a take a half time and then seize it again. All right, now we're over here at the warehouse and we're gonna be packing some farmer grade orders this morning. We got around 40 boxes to send out this morning. Had a Labor Day sale, went pretty well. Got all the boxes built. Dad's organizing. Uh, restock. Restocking the freezer here, getting everything up at the front so it makes our life easier. The A-team in here is putting together all the packing slips and inserts and all that stuff for each order. So every person knows what farm they're getting meat from and knows what's in their order and all that good stuff. We're getting close to starting. The fun is just about to begin. I almost forgot the most important person in this whole thing, Duke. He is just holding down the office in here, making sure no, no pests are in the warehouse while we pack. say your job is in the freezer here my job is to make sure that everything keeps moving up so we don't have to travel because i got short little legs and then i pull the order and i get everything that goes in the box next to the order and then usually you pack it if we get multiple orders that you're still trying to fit then i'll go ahead and fill it and then just put the slip in it you just make sure it's right you are quality control i'm speedy Toady. you're speedy gonzalez speedy gonzalez quality <laughs> control and the ice man yeah so i'm the ice guy i'm making sure everything is placed in the box right and we got everything and then i send it out the door usually i pack it and dad just goes and gets it he's kind of the runner so it makes things easy when everything is up here and we're just constantly moving I like jobs that I don't have to think very much. <laughs> what would you say is the best selling product today that you've seen that you're packing? Gosh, everything but ribs, holy cow. I think about every order. Well, bacon is always, I mean, we put bacon in almost every order. I mean, if you don't order bacon, that's practically un-American. Next to that, uh, spare ribs and baby back ribs are just going like crazy, so. And pork porterhouses. Those look pretty nice. They are pretty nice and we don't have very much beef left, but it's coming. When's the Wagyu going to the locker? Today. Today, so gotta hang for 21 days, then we'll be back in the beef business. Yeah, we're still at the point where uh, we're hand packing every single one of these orders, Dad and I. Founders packing the orders, so we try our best to make sure every single box that goes out here is perfect and that everybody will be satisfied with it because we ship it out just like you know, if it was coming to our door. So we really want to be intentional with how we do it. And so eventually we'd like to get some warehouse workers, but for now, this is just what it's got to be. What's your role, mom? Um, taping boxes. Taping boxes, shipping labels, Drake's the muscle. He gets all the boxes out of the freezer, puts them on the cart. They're a well-oiled machine in here. I just wanted to show you that perspective because we're not the only ones that are in here doing this. We're in the freezer and it's cold, but they're out there making sure 
we get a stack looking like this. Sorry for it fogging up, but when the GoPro's been in the freezer and comes out in the heat, this is what happens. Shout out to them, shout out to my mom, shout out to my dad, shout out to Drake. But before the UPS truck gets here to load all those boxes up, I wanted to give you guys an update because we just got some pork into the freezer, some fresh pork cuts. Literally picked up this pork last Wednesday. And I wanted to show you all the cuts that we got. We got some new ones, but we also got some restocks of some popular items. So I just wanted to let you guys know. First up, we got some baby back ribs. We got about 50 of these bad boys. We got some jalapeno cheddar brats. I wish they would have done four per pack. We got some pork spare ribs. We got some maple flavored breakfast sausage. This was a hit. Last time we got it, people really loved the flavor. Uh, we got some bacon cheddar pork patties. Uh, we got some jowl bacon. We weren't using the jowl much, um, but turns out you can turn that into bacon. We got our bacon here. Every single pack is now one pound. We got some pork shank. We got pork porterhouses. So right there, you can see that little darker spot. That is the tenderloin in the pig. So it uses the loin and the tenderloin. This is honestly my favorite cut so far. I put this on the grill the other day. Absolutely smacked. This is delicious. We also got a pork brisket. When I tell you that that needs to be a mainstream thing within the pork industry, I can't emphasize that enough. If you've never tried this, look up how to smoke a pork brisket. Try this out and I promise you, you will not be let down. We are gonna shoot a video on how to make one of those properly because we were blown away with the taste of that. I just can't believe we, as a pork industry, we don't promote that cut more because it is amazing. Last thing, the good old pork butt, eight to 10 pound pork butt. So this is the spread that we got. We got a whole lot of each one of those things. Some very, you know, jowl bacon's a limited commodity. There's not very much jowl bacon you can get out of a cheek of a pig. So if you are interested at all, I just wanted to let you guys know, you can use code this will do to save 10% off your order. That code will be available for the entire time that we keep making content. So we appreciate you guys. Let's go load the UPS truck up. Now that is a sight to see right there. American meat with an American story. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Always like after a long day of packing orders, getting them to this point and seeing them going on the UPS truck. It's not music to my ears, it's music to my eyes. That's probably a terrible analogy, but it's a great feeling. It's a really satisfying feeling. Really happy with how it's going and anyone that has supported us that watches this channel, I, I really want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart because I'm just a young kid trying to figure this out, bootstrapping this meat business. And without you guys, this would never, never have been possible. So I truly can't express how grateful I am to be able to be doing this and follow my dreams of starting my own business and be able to do something that I'm really passionate about and support an industry and a business that, you know, I, I really feel good about. Just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoo! Good to have that done. Successful day of packing orders. Now, if all of those can show up to everybody's doorstep in one piece, fingers crossed, that would be awesome. We put extra dry ice in every single one of those boxes, so hopefully we did everything we could to get them all there in one piece. Hottest day of the year, so it'll be a good test. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys is we did finally roll out a reward system on farmergrade.com. So every single person that orders from here on out will earn points, and you can redeem those points for money off future orders. Every $100 you spend is worth $5 off. You get points to get $5 off future orders. So it just goes up from there. The more points you earn, the more money you can take off your orders. And there's also perks for people that earn a certain amount of points. You get certain perks like access to sales before anyone else, a double point multiplier. So when you spend $1, you earn two points instead of one point. If that interests you guys at all, we really wanted to give customers a reason to come back to Farmer Grade and feel like we care and feel like we could reward that loyalty. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that as well. We want to reward people that want to continue to do business with us. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for your support. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate every single one of you guys. We love you and we'll see you back when we do another video. See ya.